Dyro. Wolves can struggle a bit with swords, so Roy, although a bit more kind of a matchup than perhaps Lucina or Shulk, might pose a bit of trouble for Charlie if he's not careful, but game one on the PS2. This is once again winner's quarter, so a trip to winner's semis is on the line. F-Tilt will outrange a lot of Cyro's kit despite the long disjointed sword. Couple of blasters and a fair, fair, up air, up air string. Only increase Cyro's percent. Landing back air from Charlie does sweet spot, although across the stage a bit of an ask to kill. This time the back air from Cyro will put Charlie off stage. He's gonna be reverse. The double edge dance. Wanted to tech chase with an air, but Cyro in position to tech roll away. Wish the dash grab, but approaching Nair this time. Up smash a bit too late on top of the platform. I think that might have even poked good tech and a necessary tech. I think Cyro might have been able to find a kill even at this low percent if he found the tipper instead, but parries it instead. Drops down with a fair. And up smash through the platform is going to send Cyro tumbling skyward. Charlie is going to be the first one to take the first stock. And the double edge dance off of the jab, meanwhile, seals Charlie's stock very early. If you're able to land that confirm and the DI isn't good enough, it can take stocks sub 100% with surprising consistency. Carry into F tilt from Charlie though. Reach the roll in, and another one is just going to send him upwards. Carry into grab from Cyro. Jab into back air from Cyro. He's been really amplifying the pressure now, and now Charlie. Cyro's only sitting at 30%, so quite a lot of a mountain to climb. Fair to up air, a second up air from Charlie. This is a good juggle that he's been able to get started, but the real question is, can he find a kill? There's the blaster. I'm not going to fall face first into one of those back airs. Cyro not. Oh, but he just went the normal get-up route. Cyro already going to be met with that F smash from Charlie. After being so cautious there, not approaching, not being the one to make the first move. He just got a bit apprehensive there, and Charlie finally has a route back into this game, but the jab, not quite the double-edged chance to finish it off. He reverses the neutral B. Now Charlie comes out of the range of a fair dare, but for a fair back air, the counter from Cyro will put Charlie into triple digits. This is so close. Trade with the back air. Oh, and he wanted the roll inward. That down smash might have killed, but Cyro, a veteran maneuver, not willing to make a hasty play. And tilt from Charlie. Putting on a bit of shield pressure with some of the blasters. Jab out of that, but goes inwards with the forward tilt. And Cyro, he's going to take game one. Charlie obviously frustrated there, just letting that lead slip away. Fell out of that second stock particularly early. And Cyro making the case to climb up the PR next season. Quick gulp of his water, as this is do or die time. Winner's quarters, of course, best of three, so one more win for Cyro will send him into losers. Quick double fair will be an early 56% onto Cyro. Although a few quick nares. Air dodges out of that forward smash. Time parry into down tilt. Didn't go for a hard read with the down smash. Just went for the dash attack instead to cover more options. 
There we'll send him back off stage. Not able to two frame with a down smash though. Throwing out three smash attacks in a row, none of them connecting, but nevertheless, Charlie is enjoying about an 80% lead, although that's dwindling. Good landing bear though from Charlie. Only 61% taken. He can just start to really turn on the jets now. Spot dodges around the jab. You could tell Cyro wanted to get something started off of that. And not even going to be afforded the opportunity. Reads the roll in with the F tilt in the other direction. Not well positioned to convert off the parry. And air dodges out of that double edge dance. So now Charlie, a bit of fortune, but fortune favors the prepared and prepared is exactly what Charlie is. Out of the range of the dash attack though. The forward air just goes for the back air instead. Cyro, before things get ugly, is able to take that first stock, but already at 111%, this is looking like Charlie's game. Gets both the bayonet and the blaster hitbox. Parry into up tilt, not gonna kill. And just dip back for that F tilt, almost sending him towards the ledge. Returns to the fair. Another F tilt, it's getting a bit stale at this point, so Cyro is able to live to 174%. And that double edge dance is able to get a bit more with the help of Rage. Spot dodges around the dash attack. Back throw, yup. Nothing he could do with the DI there. Charlie the King, only 37% onto that second stock, although saying that, Cyro is able to get a quick something going. Couple of fairs into the grab. And he can manage to just not take his foot off the gas pedal. Charlie is going to be sending this to a game for it any moment. Good conversion off the fair into the dare, or into the back air rather. Use the flash to make it back. Landing fair from Cyro. He's facing backwards, so there's only one thing on his mind really. That back air kills very early from Roy. Tech chase with the down tilt though, although he didn't get it just in time. Wanted to wait it out longer and get a read on the roll, and Charlie just threw out the get-up attack. Returning there. Down tilt puts him back off stage. In the back throw, almost doing it. Good tech on the fair, on the near off stage, but Cyro just ran out of vertical real estate there. Charlie the King with a two stock to take game two returns the favor there. We are going to be putting this one to a decisive game three to separate these two. On to it looks like town and city for game three. Cyro still opting to go with Roy. Not losing faith, not bringing the Meta Knight out just yet. And I like the decision from Cyro to just dip back instead of going for perhaps a second fair off stage. Waiting for Charlie to throw out a panic jump or a panic air dodge. Didn't work in that particular situation, but might in the future. Waits out the double edge chance though and gets the shine or the flash. Off of the fair. Up smash. Good call out on the landing, but Cyro is living. There's him back. Once again, into Roy's grasp. Cyro. King sent outward with an air. And Charlie just wanted the game with an air to finish it off, but F tilt will do it otherwise. Jab in the back here this time from Cyro though, closing out Charlie the King's stock sub 100% once again. We are back to even in a flash. Blinken, you might have missed it. Never ever count a Roy player out of any situation. Did find the jab, but Perhaps just didn't believe that one was going to connect and had the opportunity. Gets the bayonet hitbox, parries the nair. And the 
up air this time. Even that jab into up air that we saw a moment ago. Cyro not able to find the kill off of it. But Charlie only inches away from that back air connecting. The F-Tilt going to send him tumbling off the side. Recovered high this time and that counter not going to connect either. He just did too low. That up special not going to provide the vertical distance he needs. Cyro is going to be the first one to dip down to his last stock. Have to see what he has left in the tank. Down throw to dash attack. Does not tech that either and gets the fair dare as well. Cyro is just going to be sent way too low for that. And even getting Charlie on the way back with the up special, he's going to be out of that second stock. And almost like that, Charlie was afforded one opportunity. Gave him the inch and took the mile. Charlie is 